Greetings survivors. This is a short tutorial on how to add a prefab uh, to your vault. So you're going to go here to editing tools and then we have these options. You're going to go to vault editor and then you're going to load the vault you, you want to change. So um, here I have um, take two is Hadija Mountains. Um, I can get in get into the world editor. So Hadija 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 Mountains. Um, gonna do load world here. And mind you, this is not gonna change the world that you have actually loaded. Um, anything that you've discovered in the world already is, is not going to be modified. But I believe it's going to change any places you haven't been to in your world. Um, the changes will apply in, in those places. But anyway, let's leave it Let's load the game data and I'll be back in a second. All right, guys. Uh, so we are here in the world editor and I have my player character loaded here, though it really shouldn't matter. So we have here the world and thing is we want a different region and finding a different region might be slightly tough because um, though I have not uncovered this section of the map, this is uh, the region itself, uh, it's, it's known. So I'm gonna switch to map view here. Uh, no overlay, radiation. I'm hoping there may be, um, no, there is not uh, indication of region. Well, let me switch this off. Then I'm gonna pick something here. Let's let's go here. It should be a different region file. Uh, that way, I don't need to delete anything. Uh, let's pick a nice number here. Yeah. 340 west and 600 north. Okay. So this here, don't like very much. A wasteland. I would like to place this near uh, some sort of road. What is down here south? This is a big, big POI here. Okay. Let's move closer to here. Okay. I think this is gonna work. Despite the fact that there's a wasteland very close by. I'm gonna move here. So I'm gonna place a POI, a prefab uh, next to this road here. Close this, this, what is this, the Shamway factory or the shotgun messiah? No, neither, this is something else. Yeah, this is something else. So first off, press ask here. And you will go here and show dynamic prefabs. Okay, and that's when you look at the map, that's what those squares are. So these are the prefabs that are in the game. Now, I'm gonna first place press Z to place a selection block on the ground and you just need a position don't doesn't need to be exact just a rough placement um, after that you're gonna press K and then click on dynamic prefabs and you're gonna find the prefab here now I'm after one prefab in particular which is um, it's called 
household gambrel household gambrel number three this is the only prefab that has the super corn in the game if you don't have this prefab uh, you can do pref you, you cannot do corn so I'm gonna load into prefab so this is gonna consider the prefab uh, if this was selected it would be there but it isn't so load into prefab okay so this is how's old gambro and now I can use G so it's selected like I can select this one or select this one so I'm selecting this one and I'm pressing G and then it's going to show these arrows I can move it with these arrows so uh, I can pick here for example move in this direction or pick the green one Oh, sorry, no, that's that's the up and down one. So let's pick the G again. Let's select again G, the blue one, yeah. So blue one, okay, let's do the red one again. Okay. Now, this is nicely aligned with the roads, but it's above ground. So we have to move it down a little bit. There you can see uh, these blocks might be uh, um, a lower elevation, uh, but yeah. Might be a yeah, there might be some, yeah, there's some elevation uh, changes here. So for example, you can see that this here is underground. So there's going to be a change here. I'm not going to change the elevation of the terrain. Um, that's something that the render world generation does. It changes the elevation so that it's going to fit uh, better. But everything here is at the right level, I think. Looks to me like that. So one up. Yeah, one up is definitely floating. So this is the place I want. Now, there is uh, another option, which is X. going to change the direction now, this takes a while because it reduces a lot of stuff um, let's see where the entrance to this place is is where these signs are okay so it was rotated correctly and it has an underground part so we'll have to uh, move it down into the soil so I'm going to press X once and twice. It, it, like it stops for a little bit. It lags terribly. You cannot move the mouse on anything while it's doing that. That's fine. Okay. So this is the front. This is where I was supposed to be. The, the road's supposed to be at. Um, so let's get close to the ground here a little bit. Press G again. Move it down. Now I'll have to do something here. So you you do the apply BB position, and that basically is going to. Uh, draw this POI into the, the uh, into the terrain so that's something that you, you can do before you before you press X to rotate you don't need to press X to see what it looks like it needs to go further down here 
So press G again. Apply position. So what does this look like? Yeah, it's a couple blocks above ground. It's one or two blocks above ground. Press K, apply position. Go down a little bit further. Want to see the top of the building. Well, the top of the bounding box, honestly. And there is this information, Y offset minus 22. That means uh, it needs to go 22 blocks down into the earth. And this is now one block, two lower. I might have moved that once, one too many. And front south also indicates where uh, which direction the POI uh, faces by default. So you see that it is facing south. And if you go down here, uh, you can bet that there are 22 blocks going into the ground. But now this seems all nicely matched. That thing is not going to float because there are 22 blocks going into the ground. Uh, on this side, you can see that there is like a, a big chunk difference here uh, in elevation. Well, not big, about two blocks, but bigger than you would like. But yeah, this is where where I want it. So uh, everything here is, is already... Um, the no more apply position or size changes or anything like that because the POI is already there. So all you need to do is to save all prefab positions. Okay. You have also in the menu here, you can you have click save here. Okay. So save there, I don't think it works very well. Yeah. Save select a prefab, that's when you want to change the prefab in the game with something you, you created here. So for example, if I was to come here, um, place a wood frame there, and I want to save this prefab with this wood frame, then I would use the save, uh, save select the prefab. Okay, that's not the case. I'm just placing the prefab into the world. So Place an initial selection uh, with Z somewhere. Um, use the load uh, load into prefab um, to bring the prefab uh, at that position. Press G and use the arrows to move it around. Um, do apply BB position to see what it's looking like. Press X to rotate it. And then when you're happy, you can click save all prefab positions and then everything will be saved. Uh, you can move existing prefabs, you can change them to be something else. Uh, all of that sort of stuff you can do. Okay. Um, so this, for example, is Chernobyl. And this is... This is House Old Gambro. And you can look at any other building and you can see that. Or I can select here, for example, press K, and select anything here and click replace active prefab. 
that's going to replace this location from X custom Chern Chernobyl with Old West MD Shop 02, which I do not want to do. All right, so this is um, 300 South, 300, 300, yeah. let's say 350 South, 360 West, 360 South, 3600 West. So everything is saved. I'm going to exit the world editor and I'm going to check that out on, on my game. Um, I'll see you in a bit. Okay, this is inconvenient. Um, it also moved my player here. In fact, uh, this watch went out of my tool belt. But here's the prefab I wanted. Bob's Boar, Skull's Corn, um, Bad Bear, you can see the terrain here, um, some of it is a bit awkward, some of it is pretty good, <coughs> um, and this is Here it's really, really much higher dif uh, difference, uh, elevation change here. But overall it's pretty good actually. Overall this has been pretty good. I hope I don't spend any in mind because this is my active game. I hope I don't see any of these <coughs> behemoths either. They are somewhat dangerous. <laughs> There's a bear chasing me. Okay, stopped. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back to my base here. safe and sound but as you see as you saw <laughs> wow the prefab is there now so that's how you edit the world i hope this helped um hope you enjoy thank you for watching